7 News tracking a developing story. DIA could be affected by the grounding of all Boeing 787s. The Dreamliner hit by problem after problem, the latest this incident in Japan two days ago. And 7 News reporter Mark Stewart asking tough questions about what this means for the new Denver-Tokyo flight scheduled to start in March, Mark. And, and we have been pressing but have not received any response from United Airlines. Airport officials say it's business as usual. Safety experts say the 787 will fly once again. The prime question, though, is when. Takeoffs are on hold as Boeing 787s are now grounded by the FAA. Experts can't say when the plane will fly again. The Denver Tokyo flight is slated to start on March 31st. I wouldn't want to set a timetable on this. I would want to make sure that everything, everything is perfectly safe with this airplane's electrical system. This is video of a recent emergency evacuation in Japan. At issue, overheating lithium batteries that help to power the jets. Oh, it's a very big deal. Aviation journalist Barbara Peterson says the FAA decision has the potential of delaying the much hyped flight between Colorado and Japan. Let's put it this way the whole aviation industry is really counting on this being over very quickly. However, uh, groundings, you know, especially when it involves a design issue, uh, it, it's not going to be over in a few days. This is a picture of a DC-10 after an engine broke off the wing back in 1979. That's the last time an entire model type was grounded. It lasted for more than a month. I believe they're going to find the cause relatively quickly, Yeah. but it's the fix that may take a little bit of time. And we wanted to know if other types of jets can make the flight from Denver to Tokyo. The answer is yes, but it may be a money loser compared to the fuel-efficient Dreamliner. Live in the newsroom, Mark Stewart, 7 News.